I visited my parents over the weekend and filmed a tour of their plants and garden. So this is my mom and this is my dad. My mom enjoys plants, but she doesn't really take care of them herself. So she's kind of like Chris in that way. My dad is the one who does most of the plant care and he's been passionate about gardening since I was young. His parents are farmers in Vietnam. So when he immigrated to the US, he started gardening and growing food himself. He's very pragmatic and DIY oriented. And I think he can make or do anything if you ask him to. He really loves gardening and almost everything he grows outside is edible. But I recently got him into house plants. We're going to start this video with the indoor plants, then head outside to the garden. Before we do that, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this week's video, which is Truly. Truly is a startup that reached out to me and sent me a pre-production model of their smart mushroom growing device that lets you grow almost any kind of mushroom in as early as 7 to 10 days. You can grow a variety of species that are healthier and tastier than most mushrooms available at supermarkets. Supermarkets are limited in what mushrooms they can reasonably sell due to shelf life and profitability constraints. This device is 100% beginner friendly. Just choose your desired mushroom growing pods then put it into the machine and it will automatically adjust the perfect growing conditions for the species you selected. It is safe and easy to clean and maintain. It makes growing mushrooms fun and can also look very pretty as a display, almost like a mushroom terrarium. Shirley has an app that allows you to monitor humidity, temperature, airflow, and adjust light brightness. There's also this cute little electronic paper display on the side of the device that displays a new mushroom fact every day. You can pre-order your device at a discounted price at truly.com slash Benji. You'll also receive an additional $50 credit redeemable for the growing pods. Thank you to Shirley for sponsoring this video. First, we're gonna start with my mom's plants. She doesn't really have that many plants compared to my dad. Do you take care of them, mom? Or does dad take care of them? Dad takes care of most of them, but sometimes I water, but Sometimes. No, sometimes, no. but not very, not very much, so. Which ones are yours here? This, this one's mine. Okay, so this is the philodendron white knight, and you got this from my plant swap? Yes, the one at the cafe, and then mm -hmm. also this banana, um. Burrow's tail? Pur Burrow. I thought a monkey tail, no? Um, Burrow's tail? It grown a lot. It was smaller. It's more like yeah. bigger. Yeah, uh-huh, but it gotten bigger. This and is some type of orchid. I can't remember what it is. Yeah, it's kind. an orchid. Also, this one here, the mermaid tail, also got um, at the swap. Most of your plants are from the plant <laughs> swap. swap. <laughs> exactly. I couldn't make my, my mind which one I buy, so I bought both of them. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're so pretty, so I both got both of them. And then this one here. Oh, yeah, this uh, is the terrarium I made for my mom. For it's my birthday. Crazy. Yeah, we cut it like a lot of times already. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's all I have. Oh, that's it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, no, I, I have also these ones. No, I have these. This is um, called um, prayer's plant. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the cuttings. This is from Santa Cruz. Oh. I got this from Santa Cruz. Remember we went to the nursery? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was big, huge. I got a big one at work. But this is a baby. Oh. Also, I had a few cuttings for my friends too. Oh yeah, and this one right here, this is the one that um, the cafe, At the, the swap, swap. <laughs> the pen swap, and I uh, liked it so much. You bought it for me for. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah, I bought it. You bought it, it yeah. <laughs> you bought it for me for whatever for showing up there. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay, bye, mom. <laughs> okay, bye, bye. <laughs> Here's my dad. <laughs> He mostly does outdoor plants, like edible plants in the garden. Before he only had these ZZ plants, but after I got into house plants, I started giving him my plants that I either didn't have space for or didn't want or wanted to share with him. How do you feel about growing indoor plants versus ones in the garden? I enjoy these more because I woke up and I see them before I go to bed and oh, I yeah. see them, okay? This is my, this is my baby. I love them a lot. Um, I you love my kids, but the good thing, the good thing about these is they don't talk back. <laughs> <laughs> this is really much is my favorite one. Oh yeah, this Benjamin is the... Benjamin gave me for my... Uh, for, for Christmas. For Christmas, last year? Yeah, last, last year? Christmas. A year, yeah, for a year, the beauty. a few months ago. It's, it's kind of fun that it's, it's different, mm -hmm. and you never know what you get. You know, like something like this, you always know what's coming up. Mm -hmm. It's just the same yeah, it's every just time. The same. This is my dad's favorite houseplant. How long have you been growing these? Like since I know about plants. 
Yeah, so a very long time. <laughs> Seen it go to America, and yeah. he didn't know that there were different kinds. I think I got this maybe for Father's Day for him. The new one come up green in the temple. The string of hearts that's super long. We just cut it a little bit ago. My mom cut it. Don't try to untangle it. It couldn't do it. I tried. It's not worth it. It takes no. too long and then you break off all the leaves. Yeah, just, this one, Benjamin, Benjamin oh. gave it to me. How once. big would this get? Very big, huh? It can get really big. It's a Monstera yeah. Thai constellation. I didn't have a space for it in my house. We forced the parents to... Yeah. To my to plants, yeah. And <laughs> to no more room. <laughs> I know that I could come back home and if I want the plant again, take I can take it back. Uh, so it's like a daycare. It happened plants. before. It happened before it, two times. Yeah, I bring it back home and then my dad takes care of it and it grows really well. And then I'm like, oh wow, that plant looks nice. And I take it back. Yeah, like this one, right? <laughs> yeah, like this one. I'm still learning how to grow this, but I don't know how to grow it. My dad's really experienced with outdoor plants, but he doesn't know that much about indoor plants. So he teaches me about gardening stuff and I can teach him about indoor plants. I know more about gardening and inside, but mm -hmm. learn from you every day. You do the same thing that I do where you just stand around yeah, and I, I look at that. them. I do that, man. <laughs> with their hands yeah, behind the it. back. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It's it's peaceful, you know, it just brings you joy and stuff. And Watching it grow every day. You want to go to the backyard? Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is my dad's garden. Ever since I was young, the first thing that he would do when he comes home from work is go out to the yard and take care of his plants. His garden is his passion and I'm really excited to be able to share this with you guys because he doesn't really have anyone to show off to, so I want to help him show it off to you guys. So this one is really pretty. This is a I think my dad says wisteria. Wisteria, yeah. It's a wisteria vine. But people say to be careful with this because it can ruin structures. Right. If it gets like in cracks and stuff. Beautiful flower in spring. Mm -hmm. Beautiful flower. Do you know which color is yours? Is Blue. it purple? Blue, purple. purple. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You built this structure yourself, right? Yeah. The stainless steel structure. Pretty much everything out here you did yourself. Yeah. Like when we first moved in, how many years ago? Ten. Ten. Like ten. Well, wow. when we first moved in 10 years ago, it was completely yep. just dirt. Yeah. So everything that you see was constructed by my dad. It involved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's changed a lot. <laughs> Keep me busy. Ladies finger grab, I think. Oh, they're grapes? They're like pepper, like a bunch of peppers. Yeah. Finger grab, there's a little Thai pepper. <laughs> Are these different grapes? There's a different kind, I don't know what it is. Um, that's for the birds, they eat them up. You grow Things for the birds? For us, but somehow they got it first before we can. <laughs> so it ends up being for the birds? And that's fine, you know, we share. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Lime? That thing you eat. But this is the um, for Thai cooking. There's a name for it. Maybe we'll remember. I look at it. Yeah. <laughs> we use the leaves for cooking. Oh, use the leaves? It smells nice too. Like you can break it and it smells nice, right? Remember, mom, mom, mom used it to make chicken for you? Chicken that's been to the store. A few leaves, yeah, you don't. Know. And then chicken. what's this? This that flower is, is nice. Don't know. <laughs> that is don't know. <laughs> Do hummingbirds come? Like you see birds and stuff? Hummingbirds, bees, red bees. They're very easy to grow. Yeah, they're flowers. pretty too. Yeah. And then behind you, what? It, this, this is one? a peaches? Oh, I know, I know, I know what this one is. A galaxy peach. Galaxy peach? Yeah. They, uh, it, it's a new breed and it's really, really, really good. Homegrown. Is it ready yet? It's Maybe. ready. It's a little crunchy, but... Can I eat it or do I? Yeah, do you yeah, spray yeah. pesticide? No. Nothing. Mmm. It's sweet. It's really sweet. sweet. Last year. Oh, it's already fruiting? Yeah. I look online, they recommend, they recommend to grow this. Yeah, it's nice. And this is a. This is. Um, Gosh, that bird. You can't enjoy nature when it makes so much noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful tree. A grease has never, never tried this before. There's a lot of meat inside. Yeah, they're really good. Super sweet too. You can just like walk around the garden and eat stuff. <laughs> and then and then you can just throw it back into the yard, right? Yeah. Don't you just do that? Go back to it. <laughs> good good for the larger. Mm-hmm. Sweet now. That's a good one. Mm. A lot of meat inside. No, I want for Chris. You can try this later, right? Like Chris? Okay. It's good. You should try it. I think you'd like it. And then over here, here's this pond that Chris the and green I... Bar, pond. Yeah, it's very green. Um, <laughs> you need a shade over it because there's too much sun going directly into the pond. So there's just a ton of algae. Yeah. But... Someday that okay. tree can cover it. Yeah, one day it'll cover it. But Chris and I helped create this pond. We 
made this like what three years ago two years ago we helped my dad and we dug a big hole and stuck the pond in yeah it was a lot of work my dad did most of the work but we helped um, I'll try and find some pictures if I can there's this gate here to prevent the dogs from going into the yard and like digging up the plants and eating the plants and things like that but sometimes we let them go in and run around like Theo right now <laughs> hi Theo Come on. So this is the area where most of the food or vegetables are grown. Right now he's burying fertilizer and something with onions. A and green, green onion? And he's planting green onion bulbs. This is cilantro that recently bolted and now there's a bunch of seeds on it. So I'm gonna take some of these seeds and grow them at my house. There's just like a ton of cilantro seeds. Mostly everything in this area is edible besides maybe like the roses and some succulents that you might see. This is my new flower right here. We uh, use it in Vietnam a lot, but we use the wild kind. Okay? The leaves are smaller. You can find this in your backyard. And I found out that the Mexicans use this a lot for hundreds of years. They put it on the taco, stir fry, very healthy for you. Do you yeah. eat it raw or do you? You can eat it like salad, but most of the time they, they stir fry or cook or they put it on the taco. Not like a Little harsh flavor sap. or anything. Oh, it's slightly sour. Yeah. It looks like it grows fast too. Yeah, I, they do. Really excited that I found this kind. So this is a apricot? The apricot, apricot tree? A little bit of plum into it. Yeah. Oh, it's more, a hybrid? More apricot than plum, yeah. Okay. How long have you had this one? This one is about seven years, six, seven years. Oh, wow. Your fruit trees always produce a lot of fruit Every year, for you. It's too heavy for the tree. I tie them up, they won't break. I like what you do with the tin foil or the foil. Yeah, just keep the bird away. Yeah. It looks nice. I don't mind to share the bird. It's just they don't eat one fruit. They eat all of them, a little bit mm -hmm. of them. You know? So they just just ruin them. <laughs> ruin them. But after that we pick them, we can save a few. We can share with them. <laughs> Wouldn't mind to do that, but if not, they destroy the whole thing. You did this we, yourself, we, right? The floor. Did all myself, yeah. Nice. Let's walk the path. It's not that hard to put them up. I don't want to uniform it, so I bought different, you know, different pattern. Mm -hmm. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks a little more natural. And this is. The sour, I don't know. The leaves are sour? It's really sour. It's really sour. They put it in, in salad, you know? Mm -hmm. But Vietnamese, um, we eat with um, Vietnamese pancake. Um, mm. Ben sale. Oh, yeah, yeah, you like wrap it and yeah. you eat it, right? Ben sale is good with ben sale. Mm -hmm. And this one is like $300 right here. Oh. <laughs> with the with big guava? In it. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah, flower, beautiful flower. It's rare. Mm -hmm. It's from Taiwan. Mm. The fruit is like two, two pounds. <laughs> I know what this is, it's chaiso. Yeah, yeah. Chiso. Remember it. Oh, what do you use this for? You, you wrap... Um, a use... salad, a meat, you wrap meat. Oh yeah, you wrap the meat in it and yeah. then you eat it, like barbecue meat or something. I know Koreans use this for oh, Korean lot. barbecue. Lot. They do this it's expensive in the store too. Yeah, five leaves, that's a dollar. Just lemongrass. Oh, it's all lemongrass? The lemongrass, yeah. Yeah, that's a good view from here, look at that tree. Here, Chris, come over here. The tree looks good from this angle. I mean, it's small back yeah, but it's, it's, it keeps me busy and I enjoy growing things, you know, see them grow and stuff. Mm -hmm. and share with neighbors and friends. Family, yeah. Fruit. Oh, and then these are some flowers. I grow because it reminds me of uh, growing up in Vietnam. Oh, it does? Yeah. Do they have these in Vietnam? Oh, a lot of these, yeah. The same or similar? Same, exactly the same. And then these are peppers, right? Those are Thai pepper, they Thai pepper. really good. You want a whole plant or just you want fruit? Mm. You want the fruit, huh? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, is it easy to grow? This one is, um, what's the card that you told me earlier? Jing, jing. Oh, ginseng? Jingsheng. Oh, all no. of this is ginseng? The mountain one. Mm. It's not real one, but it's the same family. But people use this for the leaves to, uh, to eat. The structure you made too? Yep. The chains? You can find another one like this. And what do you have climbing on it? The bitter melon this year. Oh yeah, bitter melon. Last year was bitter melon too. Mm -hmm. And some um, swash. It vines really nice. Yeah, it's very really nice. It vines nice, but I don't really like bitter melon. It's kind of gross to me. It's a pretty plant though. Even these leaves look yeah. nice. It's an interesting leaf shape and the serrations. And there's also like some corrugated texture on the leaves as well. The Vietnamese love this plant, love mm -hmm. the fruit. People we, told me to... Meat, meat inside? We put meat inside? Yeah, you it? put meat inside and you cook it and you eat the whole thing together. Yeah. Kind of like stuffed pepper. Yeah, very stuffed much. Stuffed yeah. pepper, but stuffed bitter melon. Bitter melon. I have some fruit up here to show you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not big yet, but it's just... It's a baby one. This is a 
little baby bitter melon. They grow to like this, like yeah. this big though. <laughs> yeah. They grow massive. There's also some stuff climbing up here. A kiwi. That's kiwi. Oh, it's a kiwi? I, I haven't gotten any food from that yet. How long have you had it? Uh, about two years. Oh. Last year flower, but it didn't stay. This is black plum. It just too Yeah, heavy. these are so good though. They're good. It's so many but plums every year. I, I, I was hard for me to make the decision between like a less with bigger, still very sour though. Oh, it is so sour? Yeah. Because mm, it's not too sour. Well, it's pretty. Okay, it's yeah, pretty it's sour. Not ready yet. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sour. Last summer, I would just pop the whole thing in my mouth and spit out the seed because they get really soft and easy to eat. These are the same ones from same before, one, but Galaxy. smaller because there's so many on the tree. I, I didn't. Oh, you didn't, didn't prune back? Yeah, I didn't prune back. It's going to be really pretty in like two months. Oh, or yeah. well, when, when it grows, it covers the entire area. When it grows up, nice. I take a picture, picture and send it to you. I'll probably be back by that time so I can give a little update. Is this mint? Experiment? Yeah. A peppermint, peppermint. A peppermint. Yes, sir. Big like, ooh. Okay, that okay. is strong. I think I saw it in the water. Uh oh. What are you doing? Swimming? Come on here. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> he loves women. Einstein just jumped in the pond. He loves women. When you let him swim, he swim all day. Swims around and around and around in a circle. Einstein, have a good swim. You think he's a fish or something? You know what you know what this is. In Vietnam, it's called uh, dang. This one is called Bacopa. That's the genus name. I can't remember the species name, but it is a common aquarium plant, and it costs like ten dollars to purchase as an aquarium plant. But if you go to an Asian grocery store, you can get a ton of them for like three dollars or something. A pound or two. Yeah, two or three. Like three years ago, when I was selling aquarium plants. Um, <laughs> My dad went and got them at the Asian grocery store and then I grew them underwater and then I sold those plants um, to aquarium hobbyists. If you ever want a good way to make a little bit of cash with aquarium plants, then yeah, that's the way to go. They grow underwater and then they also grow a little bit out of the water, so it's like yeah. marsh area. That's why Buddhists die that to keep it moist. This right here, we, we, we cut them three weeks ago. People use this as a superfood, especially I think in India. This is raw rum we eat it with egg and stuff yeah it smells really good i ha i used to gr oh oh it's strong more bitter melon yeah we have like uh, what how many four five six or six of them <laughs> one's the fruit it's, it's hard to eat them too, too many, many. too, too many. big yeah, i need to give them away are we back we able to take it like the plants theo's having a fun time um, at this house because there's so much room to do here like in the backyard or play with the other dogs and stuff. i think this this is ready benjamin you take them home and eat them. Yeah, I'll take some. Do you know it's ready when it comes off easily? Yeah. There's also two orange trees. There's one next to Chris, but these are a navy, uh, naval, naval oranges. Naval. Yeah, they're really good whenever they're ready. When in summertime, they're ready. Mm. I guess it's summer right now. In November. Oh, in November? Oh, yeah. that's not summertime. Oh, and then th there's this back alley area that I would like to show. A fish fish mint? I guess. Fish oh, mint. yeah. It's pretty. It's, it has yeah. it's like a huge mint. thing of it over here, and then there's also there's nice flowers on it that are growing. Yeah. I got too much. I didn't. We could, be, we could, we could finish it. So it's not flowering. <laughs> what do you use it for? In salad. Use mm -hmm. it as a salad. It's mint. So I completely forgot to film an outro. But after we filmed, we went inside and made dinner. We used a lot of vegetables that were grown in the garden. And then we also had homegrown fruit for dessert. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little slice of life from my family. And I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.